All right, today I've got a real quick video here to demonstrate a problem with a computer here that won't turn on. Now, you may recognize this computer from the data recovery video that I recently posted. And of course, the reason why it's a data recovery video is this computer will not turn on and therefore the customer has no access to the data. Now, let me demonstrate to you what's happening. I've got a VGA cable and this computer only has VGA. In fact, let me just turn this around and I'll show you. Step around. Only has a VGA port back here. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And you'll see there's a little green light right down here by the power supply. We're gonna give this power. And when we give it power, we should see that green light come on, and it does. But that green light does not automatically mean there's nothing wrong with the power supply. That's simply verifying that the power supply fuse is not burned out and that it's receiving 120 volts. But be that as it may, I just want you to be aware that just because you see that green light, don't assume you have a good power supply. Now, if I turn the system back around, you'll see it's all plugged in here. Let's get these cables out of the way. There we go. And I hit the power button, which is right here. Nothing happens. And one of the main causes that you may see on a system that won't turn on when it's not the power supply is the battery on the motherboard could be dead. So if you have a, a system that's over five or six years old, it's very likely that this little tiny, it's almost like a nickel sized uh, battery, it's called a CR2032. They're very inexpensive. You can pick them up on eBay really cheap or you can obviously get them at Walmart or any local store that sells batteries. And like I say, they last about, I don't know, five to 10 years. And this little battery holds all the information with your BIOS, the date, the time, your SATA configuration, everything's in there. So when that battery goes, oftentimes, system can't even turn on. And it really depends on the motherboard design. Some motherboards are designed where they still will turn on when the battery's dead, but they won't hold the BIOS information. And other motherboards, uh, quite often the ones by mass manufacturers, such as this compact, the system, as you're witnessing, does not turn on. So I'm going to take just this little fine jeweler screwdriver here. I'm going to unplug all the cables from the computer. Just pull them all out here. And I'm going to take that little battery out. Now to do this, this battery is located right here. And right here on this edge, there's a little clasp that's holding this battery in place. And I'm simply going to press up against the battery and you'll see it just pops out and we can remove that battery just like so. Installing the new battery is exactly the opposite of how you've taken the old one out by installing it into the clasp first, pushing it back and then down. Alright, now let's try this again. Let me turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. We've got the monitor to plug in. Check. The last thing we plug in is power. Green lights on. Look, the system's already started without me touching anything. Now I've left the hard drive disconnected here, but you can see from the screen we're getting the boot up and we will have to reset up the BIOS again with the current date and time and switch our SATA mode back to AHCI or we'll get a Windows 7B stop error or, or an inaccessible boot device on Windows 10. Anyway, you get these weird Windows startup errors when your BIOS isn't configured correctly. But I just really wanted to quickly show you how easy it can be to fix what at first appears to be a very serious problem, and it turns out to be a very simple problem that's very inexpensive and very fast to fix. You'll see that power button now works exactly like it's supposed to. On and off. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it educational. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.